Hey everybody, we're back. So what I'm thinking about doing, letting, it, letting the computer kind of relearn here, and um, since we unplugged the battery, what I'm going to do is we're going to use some of this flex um, seal, flex tape. And what I'm thinking about doing is doing underneath on both sides, and then pulling it down using one of these little uh, tags here, kind of like as a, a lock. And then, because we there's plenty of room like right here where we can just drill right in and it's not gonna, you know, we'll use a small self-tapper about so and it's not gonna touch anything. So, uh, there. try that. Sounds pretty good though. But then, and uh, you know, so just kind of wrap that, try to get rid of some of these sharp edges here. It wasn't totally easy, but so that's kind of my idea. And then once we get that, pull it closed, and then run this back and forth across and just seal that up. Put the carpet and the, uh, or the, the liner, sound deadener, and the carpet back over and call it good. That's the plan. We'll see how it goes. I'm in the shadow there, but um, let's see if I can move my angle. So I went ahead and taped everything. Got a little bit of a corner there. I'm not going to worry about that too much. I did kind of a manual little clip here. Then we'll clean off these side areas. And I ran my tape on the inside there. Let me go ahead and pull that out one more time for you. Just trying to make it make it as you know, smart as possible, sealed as possible without going, but make it serviceable too. Yeah, so here we go. So there's our tape all around the corners. Kind of just work it that way and let it seal in. And then we're going to go over the top with some more just to make sure. And theoretically, I think that'll pretty much do it. I hope. I'm not an expert. First time making a hatch. I probably will do one on the Firebird. <clears throat> I think that'll be a... That's probably what I'm going to do next. That will make it a lot easier. Because the Firebird one will be quite a bit harder. Um, the fuel pump itself just to get out. So having a hatch on that I think will be mucho helpful. Alright, so there we go. And then we'll use some brake clean to really clean up the areas so that our uh, there we go. make that really stick free. Got a couple rags here. Corner's a little high there. So, may not be the best, you know, best solution, but give it a try to see here. Try to overlap everything best we could. Alright. So we can run a strip across there. May end up using all of this. Hopefully bear won't mind too much. Go across that way. Be a little bit messy to get into if we have to swap it out, but hopefully that won't be but you know another you know 70,000 miles or so. Hopefully, get a corner up here. Let somebody drop some sweat. Start up here at the corner. Forms pretty good to um, you know different angles and so forth. So that's kind of why I thought. Well, instead of doing a fancy, uh, I saw a few people run 
with uh, one of this one guy went real fancy and did a fiberglass um, piece, which was pretty impressive. I'm almost wondering if I should tape this down and then put these over the top. That might be smarter. Let's run that there. We used all bears. Cut this narrow so we can do these little corners here. Over. I just gotta make sure I can find the hole there. Alright. Alright, so put that here. Kind of work in the rear right there. Ah, it seals nice. <laughs> almost don't even need the, uh, the little clip. But, sorry for the sweat. It's just ah, normal Florida. I'm kind of I'm trying to feel where the my feel where my hole is. I don't see it. So we'll put one about right there. I need to pry it up, make sure I know where I'm at. Then we'll use our what's left over here, these little corner caps, and then we'll be good to go. I hate to peel up the flex seal so this will be a little bit of a chore you know when we do have to all right we're, I think we're going to put a new hole in right here it doesn't want to drill through the flex seal understandable We might get it through. Probably un actually unnecessary, honestly. So, just with the way that uh, kind of went down. So, we'll wrap our corners here. I think that'll be a good, uh, good surface. Ready to put my brake clean. Sweating bullets. Cut us one swath here. One for each side. And then theoretically we're sealed inside and out from fumes, um, etc. So the only thing that I might need to have done was to paint my uh, exposed edges. That might have been a smart idea. And I kind of forgot to, to do that. So retrospective that might have been a good idea but yeah it conforms to pretty much any angle really well 
So I'm impressed with that. Get back over here soon. All right, last piece of the puzzle. So we'll see if this fixes some of our running issues, maybe the AC issue. We might still just have a computer problem, I don't know. But I kind of like the way that looks. Keep it secure. But now, you know, we're, we're uh, sealed from the inside, sealed from the outside. So theoretically, it should be, you know, if you have a fire, if you have fumes, you know, theoretically, you should be safe from all that. So that's kind of a good feeling, honestly. So thanks for watching this episode of, uh, maybe we should call it A Weekend with Miles. I have no idea. But we got done before the rain. That was a good plus. I wasn't sure about that. Got done before the rain. Got done before my rain quit. Fuel pump was a good one. So a lot, a lot of a lot of pluses there. So thanks for watching. I'm going to put it back together and we'll probably uh, play with the trailers next after we get everything realigned. So see you later.